guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we are reacting to the greatest woman spoken word. So guys, let's do this. The greatest woman spoken word. I just said that, I'm saying it again. You know, something must be wrong when almost every single song has sex as its basis. When rap stars get famous after making lyrics that are shameless. When a woman is expected to sleep with a man who doesn't even know what her name is. And when artists are paid to degrade the very woman that have made them. To the point they are nothing more than pieces of plastic that we can dispose of once they are no longer attractive. It's sickening and sadistic that this world I'm getting becomes chills so already, And you can call me unrealistic. But just listen to the statistics. Seven in ten men view porn while over 75 million Ooh. are addicted. 68 million requests a day for pornographic pictures making one in four searches sexually related. It's like nobody even knew she existed until she got naked. The great That's why I don't like talking to people over online. Over again, just, just to gain millions of views. It's a shame we've seen. Can I have a nude? Can you say nudes? I'm like beauty, which is so misconstrued. As we judge each other's looks off of Facebook likes. Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like. See, we are so obsessed with our outside, we have slowly lost sight. Of mm -hmm. who we really are in real life. I mean, it's sad to see so many teens lose their self esteem. Looking at these magazines, thinking they have to look like what they see. Maybe Please, like. You are worth much more than a I feel image so on a F18. Screen. You are a living, breathing human being. If just because when I see girls online, I'm just be. like, oh. Just look in your history books. You're perfect and I'm not. Of all the girls in the world who are capable to achieve and you will surely see with certainty. Females Aww. like Fatim al Fihri who opened the first ever university. Rufaid al Aslamiya, the first nurse to perform surgery. And Haisha bint Abi Bakr. The greatest female scholar in eternity. I've never, it's a shame you probably haven't he even heard of these great female them. prodigies. <clears throat> Honestly, we don't need to give up our modesty in order to be successful. For you are worth much more than a commodity that is sexual. You have so much more potential if only you knew your worth. You could be like the greatest of all women to have walked this earth. Like Mary, the mother of Jesus, chosen by Allah to be an example for the believers. A woman who stood strong even when she was abused, falsely accused and ridiculed for things she'd never ever do. So it didn't really matter when there was nobody else beside her, for she knew that God was Al Razak and her ultimate provider, and she had a trust in Him alone. Just like Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, a woman who was brave and courageous, stood up for what was right and didn't let anybody change this. A woman who was fearless and laughed in the face of death, oh my God. for she gave up the riches of this life for a palace in the next. Next up, Khadija, the mother of the believers, a wealthy merchant who had nurtured the prophet for over 25 years, his first wife, the love of his life and the mother of his kids. She was the first to believe in him when nobody else ever did. She just is beyond any words that can make you understand. So much so that even Allah sent her his salam. She was grand and Allah assured her. Just like her daughter, Fatima, the master of all women in paradise. A woman who would shine so bright she was nicknamed as Zahra, the splendid one with the most generous of hearts. A woman who gave up so much of her food she had no choice but to fast. She would fight on behalf of her father even as a little girl. And such are the examples of the greatest woman in the entire world. And it had nothing to do with how they looked, but for who they truly were. So ignore the standard of success defined by society. When God is oh my God, the I'm best of mankind, 
are those who have piety, regardless of your shape, your color, or your race. For God does not look at your bodies, nor does He look at your face. Rather, He looks towards your heart and checks your faith. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the people say or who they think you are when you could be like the greatest of all women Oh my god! in the eyes of Allah. Oh, that was so nice. Yeah, because in our generation and they, whatever you call it, like nowadays, some people are just so obsessed with being skinny, like super skinny, like skinny skinny like I don't even know how to explain like flat <laughs> and uh, like uh, you wanna be like that you wanna fit in I know none of my friends are like that but we all talk about it uh, as well like we all say oh my god you're so pretty why can't we blah 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 why can't we be like them um we should start going to the gym, we should like, yeah, it's good to go to the gym and, you know, stay in shape and be healthy, but it shouldn't be like, we shouldn't think we're not beautiful just because we don't look like those people. Because we are all beautiful in our own ways and the beauty is not from the outside, like you said, it's what is in the inside. So, yeah, I'm gonna take that into heart and mind which is the other way around and you guys should as well that was really really beautiful and i hope that you liked this video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already leave in the comment section down below what other videos you like me to react to the original link of this video will be in the description box down below as well as my social media links so guys i'll see you in the next video bye